Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I created this luxury pink crack Chanel inspired type of freestyle. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The acrylic that I will be using is XOXO from Nail House as well as this nude here and this little crown container that I always use which is Me Secrets Cover Pink. So I'm going to go ahead and do majority of the base of the nails nude. This set here is a recreation of a freestyle set that I've already done. If you guys know, you know. If you don't, um, I did a blue set exactly like this one. Well, pretty much the same. Um, but this one I'm doing a little different. So y'all, I be trying to grab a lot of acrylic when I'm using this larger brush. Just because, like, if I'm using a larger brush, I would want to get done a little quicker. But I need to stop doing that sometimes because sometimes it's, like, hard to... Well, not really hard, but it takes a while for me to, like, shape it how I want it and smooth it out to the nail. But, um, it's fine because I shape the nails anyway. Also, don't judge my application, y'all. I'm forcing myself to get used to using a size 16 brush, so bear with me. Oh, I forgot to mention as well that the tips that I have on are Acrylic Creamery's 3XO No Curve Square Tips. But y'all already knew that if y'all, you know, watch regularly. These are my absolute favorite tips. Um, I do cut them down, so they do come just a little bit longer than they are, like, than they appear right now. But, yeah. And the link to a color creamy shop is always in the description below my videos if you guys want to go check them out. And then right there, I'm just showing you guys that I'm using a color creamy's monomer as well. They have good monomer as well for affordable prices, but you guys know if you know a color creamy, they always have affordable prices. You can't beat. Um, and I'm also using Nail House to Size 16 Kalinsky brush. So y'all, let me tell y'all how pissed I was that last video didn't get to be a premiere. Y'all, I be my mind be like in so many places at once, and for some reason I forgot to set it to a premiere. I don't know what I was thinking, and so when I tried to do it at the last minute, it wouldn't let me. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and it seemed like you guys did, and I'm sorry that we didn't get to chat last time, but we're getting to chat now in this one. And if you guys don't join the premiere for this video, no worries, because we'll have plenty more to come. Um, and if you aren't subscribed to my channel, like, I just found out something very interesting recently. So when I looked at my analytics, 75% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel, like, that's crazy 75 percent is crazy like that means y'all clicking and watching all the time and and it's always been like around that percentage as well and not subscribing like show girls some love and subscribe i know you love it here and if you want to see more videos and you don't want to miss every time i upload like you need to subscribe and hit that bell button like support your girl don't just click and watch you know all of the time like okay if you watch like one video then cool but if you hear all of the time and you're not subscribed like what kind of stuff is that and if you don't hit that like button like when the video before the video even start like are you really my supporter are you really <laughs> i'm joking with y'all but no for real like subscribe subscribe y'all and for those people too who always be like, I can't believe you don't have more subscribers, or I can't believe da 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 da, da. like subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. At least like the video and subscribe. That's the least you can do. It's completely free to do that. It costs nothing and it boosts my engagement to get my videos out to more people and so that I can see it and I can potentially have more subscribers. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, if y'all love me, y'all support me, and y'all love the videos I put out, at least like my video and subscribe. Sometimes I wonder too, people just like forget, or I know some people watching the 
on their TVs and stuff, and you can't, like, click, subscribe, and all that, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But 75%, that's crazy. That's almost 100%, like, of my viewers, which are tens of thousands, like, tens of thousands. And I, I say this in the most humblest way possible. Like, I know who's ever watching, like, this isn't probably your first time seeing me come across y'all's screens. And it certainly won't be the last, so... Might as well subscribe to a girl. That is a way and supporting me for free. Liking, commenting, and subscribing, like, that costs nothing. And my already, like, YouTube family, you know what I'm saying? Like, they already know what's up. I be seeing them. They be liking before the video even starts, they be saying. I see them in the comments as soon as I post a video. And they're here so often. Like, I, they're familiar faces. I remember their faces, their names, all of that. Like, I don't even got to tell them what to do. Like, I love y'all. And I'm sure y'all in the chat. And because y'all always in here, and I'm sure y'all probably in here right now, I'm gonna go ahead and shout y'all out. Sagittarius. Hey girl, I know you probably in here. Robin, she's always in here. Paige may be in here. James Kelly Wallace. Amanda, Lil Lady might be in here. Kia, Anaya, she might be in here. Jennifer, both of them. Queen of Bling, Nails by Nelly, like, just to name a few. Y'all always in here. Hey, queens. And I appreciate y'all. And those are just a few of my many supporters who always are tuning in and all of that. Those are the ones I remember, like, off top. Also, Tori and Miss Posh Nails and a few others. Like, like I said, those are just the ones I remember off the top of my head that are always in the premieres in the live chat. And then there's plenty other of my regular commenters who don't get to make it to the premieres, but always comment under my videos and show love. Like, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I know I say it a lot. I'm beginning to probably sound like a broken record, but I'm never going to stop telling y'all how much I appreciate y'all because y'all truly, like, keep me going and keep me feeling appreciated. And because I appreciate y'all so much, like, all of my subscribers, not just those, but I appreciate all of you all. 10,000 of y'all we just hit 10 but we're probably going on 11 now because like y'all are quick and yeah and because i appreciate you guys like i was saying i will be doing a little giveaway yes and i'm gonna be telling you guys what it is um some of you may already know what a part of it is but i'm gonna be telling you guys all the details sometime in this video could be in the moment it could be in the middle it could be at the end who knows so stay tuned all right, y'all. So I have no idea where the thumb application footage went. I just now went back and see if I could, or went to see if I could find it, and I couldn't. I don't know what happened. Maybe the camera wasn't recording or something. I'm not really sure, but all the new nails are complete. And the last one we have here is the index finger. I don't really know why I turned my thumb like this for it, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the index finger this XOXO color from Nail House again. And then we're going to move on to shaping and filing. I love this pink. It's like the perfect baby pink. And it kind of like gives hints of like a light lavender almost too. It's just so cute to me. It's one of my favorite pink acrylics from them. And I'm just going to be applying it thin because I am capping this nail. This will be the only one I'm capping as I don't cap cover acrylics. All right, and then I'm gonna cap this nail like I said, and then we're gonna move right on to shaping and filing.
all right and this is how the application is looking now like i said we're gonna move right into shaping and filing and for those of you wondering i'm using the 8080 grid file that's the only grid that i like to use to get my most crisp shape and if you guys are interested in seeing my full shaping tutorial like in depth I'll link that in the cards for you guys or in the description below. I'm gonna have to do a bit more filing to the pinky nail because as you guys saw in the beginning, I did apply it a little bit more thickly on accident. Also, y'all, as I'm going along, you'll see me use this um, drill bit here to just straighten the tips of my nails. I like to do that because it's easier for me. This is just the same 5-in-1 carbide drill bit that I use in the grid medium to seal my cuticles as well, which I will be doing along the way also. So for some reason I felt like, sometimes I can feel the difference as well, for some reason I felt like my thumb was a little longer than the rest of my nails and because I can't measure them right up to each other, 
I usually grab something like a brush with lettering on it to see like where the nail stops does that make sense to see if they're the same length or not and sure enough the thumb was a little bit longer so I kept filing I can always feel as well like normally my thumbs are the same length like normally my nails are the same length like every time and I can like feel when it's the, a different length but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and seal the cuticle so that we can move on to the design all right y'all this is how we're looking after shaping and filing super cute super crisp and now we're gonna move on to the design but first I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this dust it's so satisfying to do this with the file all right so I buffed and cleaned the nails and now we're gonna move on to the design part I'm gonna go in with Nail House's Baby Pink for the middle finger. I'm gonna be creating a French crack. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing these just like the blue ones for the most part, but this one is gonna be like a few minor differences. I love this pink as well. This is one of their, my favorite pink from them is Pepto, but this is one of their new um, gel polishes and I love it. I just love this pink. All right, so I just cured that for 60 seconds and now I'm gonna work on the index finger. As I said, I'll be doing the designs pretty much the same. However, this one here, I wanted the crack little swirl part like design to be on the top and the bottom. So that's what I decided to do for this one. I'm gonna start first with my outline, fill it in, and then I'm going to cure it or apply matte top coat and cure it before applying the crack design. When you're doing a crack design, you wanna go ahead and put whatever matte or whatever top coat you're going to use underneath it, matte or shiny, first, and then do the crack part on top because you want it to still have that um, 3D effect. If you apply the top coat last on top of the crack print, you kinda of defeat the whole purpose of the um, 3D effect. And I have forgot sometime and been like so sick because I forgot um, and had to like go around it and do it again. It's just it's just a hassle. So just remember to um, do your base, apply the top coat, and then do then do the crack design on top of it. If the crack design is 3D, that is. If it's Bloom and Joe, then it doesn't matter. Well, obviously. <laughs> And also, the reason you guys see me doing these little um, swirls, like, instead of doing it straight, you can't really tell in the blue nails that I didn't do those lines straight across either. Like, I want that kind of dimension, I guess, to it. Um, where it's not just straight across the nail, like, slanted. Like, it has the little, you know, heels and dips and all of that if that makes sense like it's not just straight across all right so just care of that and I'm gonna do the thumbnail and it's gonna be a crack fringe as well and if you guys haven't noticed um, already I'm doing the like base of the designs and then I'm gonna do the crack all at once so I'm doing the gel all at once or the base all at once and then I'm gonna do the crack design all at once if that makes sense 
I don't know if it's just me, but I absolutely love doing the thumbnail, whether it's application, shaping, or even the design. I feel like it's all, like I just love the way it looks. I love the way it comes together. I also feel like it's all easy going. Like, I don't know if it's because, it's probably because it's bigger and it's just easy for application and shaping. I love the way it looks done. And then I always love the way my French come out on it. Like, I don't know what it is about it. I always love that nail the most. All right, so here's how we're looking so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and top coat the nails with a matte top coat, um, acrylic creameries to be exact. Keep in mind that I said if you're doing a 3D crack design, you wanna go ahead and top coat the nails first, and then do the design on top, so that's what I'm doing here. And then in a moment here, you guys are gonna see me use that same pink gel to fully coat the pinky so that I can do the crack print on top, just like the previous set. And just like Madame Glam, I still love Nail House's gel polishes as well. They're so pigmented and you only need one coat. And because I'm gonna always keep it truthful with you guys, I did use two coats of that gel on the pinky just because I wanted it to be a little bit more pigmented, but I could have got away with just one coat. As well as some of their polishes, you do need like maybe two coats, but pretty much for the most part, you only need one. All right, so I'm going to begin the crack part of the nails now, and I'm going to be using that same pink, of course, and I'm going to be using some clear acrylic to pour over top. I'm going to also be using my dotting tool to create the crack part. I know that I said I'd start using um, a liner brush to try out, like to make it, see if it's going to be easier because it is a little tough using the dotting tool. Um, however, all of these videos are like pre, not pre-recorded, but you guys know what I mean, like I recorded all of these videos before I even decided to try out the liner brush for the crack print. So when I try it, I just try it. I'm curious, what do you guys use to do your 3D crack print? Do you use a dotting tool or do you use a liner brush? Let me know in the comment section below or um, and or in the live chat. This design is coming out pretty nice. I don't know if you guys know how like, well at least for me how tough it is to get the lines all the same. Um, the same thickness and the same like length apart or space apart and just everything like yeah and the pink crack all by itself is a look like I think it's pretty cute um I have to do something more with pink crack this color like one day Also, for those of you who do partake in the 3D crack design, do you like to do, or crack design, period, do you like to do the 3D crack like this? Like, do you like this design more, or do you prefer the bloom gel look? Let me know in the comment section below. Lately, I've been loving the 3D effect, but I'm good for doing a blooming gel crack like real fast because it's simpler and it gives a different effect as well but i love them both all right so as you guys just saw there i did the crack design with the gel the gel was still wet i did not cure it i poured the clear acrylic over top and then i cured it for 60 seconds all right so now i'm gonna work on the middle finger with the french crack and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing.
all right y'all so now is the part where i'm going to tell you guys about the 10k giveaway for you guys so the first part of the giveaway is something i spoke about in the last couple of my videos is me giving away an intro and outro for two of my subscribers creating that is so i will create an intro and an outro for two of my subscribers for those of you who don't know i do my intros outros and all of my youtube branding myself like my banners and everything else as well um and i want to give that away to two of my subscribers an intro for their youtube channel as well as an outro I've been seeing a lot of you guys in the comments saying that you would love if I made that for you guys. So this is your chance to be a winner of this giveaway. Now, depending on what you do, you don't have to already have a YouTube channel. For instance, I know that more likely than not, most of you probably do nails as a hobby or something like that or want to. And you may have like nail content, like things that you can include in your intro or outro or whatever. Um, like you have nail footage, like videos, pictures, things of that sort. So you don't have to already have a YouTube for that. Now, if you are one that does like vlogs and or maybe like beauty or travel or just something like that, things of that sort. Um, you don't really have to already have a channel either really you just really have to have content so you know so we can't just make an outro or an intro of nothing you know like you have to have some kind of content to go off of and i know most of you watching like i said probably want to start a youtube or already have one and you need one or whatever the case may be and you need those things for it so to make a long story short, I will be giving that away to two of my subscribers. All you have to do, of course, is to be subscribed. You have to like this video and you have to comment underneath there. If you want to win this part of the giveaway, you have to comment exactly that. You have to say, I want to win the intro and outro or the YouTube essential um, giveaway, whatever. You also want to make sure that you are prepared with good quality photos and videos so that if you win this giveaway, we have, you know, footage to make your projects from. I'm going to please ask that you have that because if you don't, um, it's going to make it difficult. I'm going to also ask that in that comment, I want you to put your email as well so that if you win, I'm able to contact you. If you don't put your email or any contact information, I'm not going to be able to contact you to let you know that you are the winner of the giveaway and I'll have to select someone else. It can go this way as well. I just don't know how smoothly that will be. I will be choosing the winners at random and I will be announcing it in a video. However, I don't know if the winners will see it and contact me. So I'd rather do it that way. But if you guys want to do that that way as well, you can contact me at portionnoted at gmail.com but leave your email anyway so that i can contact you also last thing for this part of the giveaway if you don't want to include photos you don't have to i can do you a text only intro and outro as well actually the last part i'm gonna say is if you don't want this giveaway no worries because i will be offering um youtube branding essentials or you know those kind of things as a service very soon all right, and the second and last part to this giveaway is I'm going to be giving away a custom acrylic press on set to two more of my subscribers. Yes, so there will be four winners to this giveaway. It's only right, right? It's only right. <laughs> I'm answering my own questions, but anyway. So two of them, like I said, will win a YouTube branding package essentially and then the other ones or the other two will win a acrylic press on set custom so you'll get to choose how you want it what length and design you want however it will only come with like basic bling y'all can't just like get like full bling you know um so yeah 
and just like the YouTube Essentials giveaway winners, you'll have to leave exactly what it is you want, whether you want, like I said, the personal set or the YouTube package. You have to be subscribed to my channel, you have to like the video, and like I said, you have to comment what it is exactly you want as well as your email so that if you win, I can be able to contact you to let you know that you are the winner and get all of your desires, you know, like details. I will also be filming, you know what, I was going to just do the press on, like film the press on so that you guys can see um, me create your set if you win, um, because that'll be fun, right? But I think I'm also going to do, like I may film how I create the intro and outro for the winners. I may film that part as well. I don't know. But anyways, y'all, this video is going to be going up tomorrow. Well, technically today because it's 2 a.m. And I don't know if I can tell. Well, y'all can't tell, but I'm fighting my sleep so bad. But I promise y'all this video tomorrow and I promise a premiere because like I said, I was super pissed that I didn't get to do a premiere with you guys last time. So I'm going to get this premiere already like up, you know, like as a, uh, what is it? Preview or whatever. So that it can automatically go up tomorrow at 2 p.m. as a premiere tonight probably around 3 a.m. if y'all on an eastern time y'all will be getting the notification very soon um but girl what did you say i said all of that to say that this video will be going up today wednesday because like i said it's 2 a.m wednesday july 27 and i will be i'll give it until I'll give it until this time, two weeks from now. So that will be August 10th for whoever wants to join the giveaway to join. And yeah, like I said, the winner will be selected at random, but you have to be a subscriber. You have to like this video and you have to comment, of course, because the house what I know. And I will be checking that you guys are subscribed and everything. So don't try to be slick. <laughs> and good luck to you all. And when it's after August 10th and you guys are seeing this video and you feel bad you didn't get to join, don't fret because on this channel there will be so many more giveaways and they will be litter and litter each time. The ones who've been here know how I do. Anyways. Alright, so as you can see I finished up the crack just in time for me to stop running my mouth. I feel like I've been explaining the giveaway for a little minute now but I had to tell y'all all the deets. But anyway, y'all, let's move on to the bling part. All right, so I'm going to start with the index fingernail. And I'm going to be going in with some IBD gel. Simply because I like the way that works better with my little caviar gold beads. Because I'll be incorporating some of those as well as some AB crystals along that crack design. Just like the blue set. And what am I talking about? I'm actually going to be adding the pearls first. So I'm going to be adding these little white pearls here um, that I got from Shein. And I'm going to be real with y'all. If I don't say anything else from here on out, I'm going to just let y'all finish enjoying the video, okay?
all right y'all that is how we're looking with the pearls complete and cured and now i'm gonna go in with the ab stones and the gold caviar beads using the ibd gel All right, and then here's how this index fingernail is looking so far. It's actually really, really cute like that on its own, but I had to add the Chanel charm in there for it to be like the blue set and just, you know, have that little touch. And I'm gonna be doing that using IBD gel as well. As well as these little Chanel charms are from Acrylic Creamery. They're super, super cute. so cute y'all it's giving like a bougie barbie it's so cute like crack and pearls is such a dope like design i absolutely love it like the vibe of it is just like so pretty and by the way too when i did the blue set i got the index nail inspo from ice by Bri, Bri she did a pink one like that and i'm like this will be so cute blue so i did that and then now i'm recreating that same index nail i did on the last set on this one however it's different because i added the crack to the top and the bottom and the bling it's super cute but shout out to her because her design was cute as well and then of course the rest of this set is freestyle completely all right y'all so right now i have moved on to the middle fingernail and i'm just going to be adding that same almost similar to the last one the blue set with the um bling down the middle kind of but just a little bit different this time and of course using none other than zulay's bling adhesive to do so I don't know what's going on on the side of that nail there. It appears that I had stopped and maybe ate something. Because, yeah. Sometimes y'all are taking bathroom breaks or like food breaks. And, yeah. <laughs> I eventually noticed it and wiped it off.
all right y'all so i gotta get out of here like my eyes literally twitching because i am stressed out because i am fighting sleep it is now 3 a.m so let me just tell you real quick what happened i tried to apply this charm to the nail it dried so super fast like you see that i'm not even able to remove it like i don't know what happened i don't know like it normally doesn't dry that fast i don't know what happened so basically i couldn't get that um i couldn't get that rhinestone off i couldn't do anything but pop the nail off you guys know i pop my nails off and i put on the other one from the blue set and voila so now i'm gonna finish up the thumb and i'm gonna enter the final results They came out so beautiful, y'all. I absolutely love every single thing about them. I think I did my thing, if I do say so myself. It actually made it hard for me to choose between this one and the blue one as my favorite one. Let me know in the comment section below which one you're going with. Hashtag team blue or team pink for which one you like better and that is your favorite. These would also be like really cute gender reveal nails. But anyway, y'all, that is all I have for this video. I so appreciate you guys joining me today. If you enjoy this video and you enjoy these nails, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below as well as enter the giveaway if you are interested. Again, all you have to do is leave a comment below saying which one you want to win as the prize and leave your contact information. Subscribe to my channel because don't forget, 75% is crazy. Y'all thought I forgot? I didn't forget. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.